Welcome to Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. We're here, we try to keep reviews very, very simple. And today we are discussing WWE Crown Jewel 2023. I feel like, was the, are both Saudi Arabia events called Crown Jewel? I'm gonna have to check on that, someone let me know. But we're here to talk about WWE Crown Jewel live from Saudi Arabia, Saturday, November 4th, 2023. Um, the show kicked off with Seth Rollins defeating Drew McIntyre to retain his World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins is continuing to put on amazing performances, um, title defense after title defense. I am very much interested in seeing a rematch between these two. I like the direction that Drew is going in where you can see this little more attitude uh, in him. Um, following this match, Rhea Ripley defended her World Heavyweight Championship, Women's World Championship, against Zoe Stark, Nia Jax, <laughs> uh, Raquel Rodriguez, and Shayna Baszler. Now, there was a moment in this match where Shayna Baszler had three women, uh, three of the competitors in a submission hold at the same time. I thought that was very unique. I thought that was awesome. But I kind of felt like Rhea Ripley was going to win this. I was like, there's no way that Rhea Ripley's losing, um, you know, the, the title. Having She's probably the hottest woman. Um, no pun or anything like that. Um, but we love you, Mommy. She's probably the hottest woman in WWE right now. Um, and I think keeping the title on her until we have a suitable challenger um, is probably the way to go. Um, next, we had Solo Sokoa defeating John Cena. Now, John Cena did tease retirement um, a few weeks ago when he came back to WWE. Um, the crowd gave him a standing ovation. The announcers gave him a standing ovation after this match. Listen, Solo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I was hoping, and you never know with, you know, these days, especially um, with talents such as, you know, big names such as John Cena, where if they're actually going to put somebody over. Um, you just never know. I was not only shocked, but I was ecstatic. I was happy. It was probably the biggest reaction that I gave this show, only because I hate the whole, oh, well, the bag, the heel loses the match, but and then he beats down the baby face after the match to send a message. What really sends a message is wins and losses. And wins and losses matter. I like the fact that he won this match uh, clean. I like the fact that he dominated John Cena in such a way to put everybody else on notice that Solo Sokoa um, could be a player in the future. I mean, having a win over John Cena means a lot. Uh, next, we had Logan Paul defeating Rey Mysterio to win the United States Championship. Uh, Logan did cheat to win this. Uh, Logan is a great heel. He is a great performer. Um, I have not seen him have a bad match or a bad outing um, since he's, you know, come to WWE. And I would expect that this may lead to a match with LA Knight. Um, because, and I'll get to that in a, in a moment. Um, then after that, we had EO Sky defending her championship the women's championship against Bianca Belair Kyrie Sane came back now I will say this I am also interested to see where this goes I mean is damage control going to be a thing is Bailey getting kicked out because listen when EO Sky ran into Bailey and knocked her down by accident she kind of stared at her and looked at her like mm, whatever and then Kyrie coming back looking like a complete badass um, I love that elbow drop, by the way, still. The, the, the height, the way her legs just go, you know, like, you know, just, just amazing. So I'll be tuned in to SmackDown um, to see what's next. Next, we had Cody Rhodes defeating Damian Priest. Um, oh, Damian did try to cash in earlier on Seth Rollins after his match with Drew McIntyre, but Sami Zayn ended up um, ruining that for him, taking a brief case and running away. Um, but... Cody wins. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> like, honestly, um, Jay came back. Like, honestly, I was like, confused.
confused if the Usos were actually going to show up on the show at all. Because I know there's been things about them with travel and, you know, on other stuff. So, every time the Usos do show up, like, outside the country, I'm just like, oh, it's always a surprise. Um, and then last, the main event, we had our Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defending his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against L.A. Knight. Yeah! And like we expected, LA Knight did lose. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, John, who's gonna beat Roman? Who's gonna beat Roman? Listen, I'm gonna tell you this, right? I think, what is it? He's at 1,161 days so far. And only uh, Bruno San Martino and Hulk Hogan have held the title longer than him. Now, I don't know if he's going to hold the title past WrestleMania. I don't expect him to lose it before that point. I also don't know what the title reign number will be once he gets to that point. But honestly, we've all said that we wanted long-term storytelling, um, you know, long-term booking. You know, we want all these things. And I feel like we, as people, <laughs> need to be consistent with our messages and what we want can't have it both ways what's next for la Knight? um i think la Knight should go after uh, logan paul for the u.s championship i think that would be a very interesting feel you got the mega star versus the other mega social media star um and i think what's next for roman is i think he just go back in his cave and just wait you know his next challenge um just wait for his next challenge so overall i will give this show a thumbs up thought the show was fairly entertaining um you know it didn't it didn't bore me it didn't suck or anything like that i thought the show was good so giving it a thumbs up good job wwe good job all the talent on the show and i'm not entirely sure if i'll be doing these type of videos for smackdown and raw it is very hard to keep up with my schedule and like watch the shows and talk about the shows and everything and also i don't want to just do things just to do them um so we'll we'll see we'll see what happens but definitely premium live events i can definitely um talk about those discuss those and it, I, th I think also it allows time for me to see where storylines are going instead of just reacting every week to the same thing and maybe repeating myself all the time so let me know what you guys think in the comments below thumbs up thumbs down i'm out i gotta go for that